Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today it's about all different colors and reds and purples and blues and yellows and cute little bubblies. Because today we're going to be playing Bubbly Pop from Quick Simple Fun Games. This is a two player tactical game. Uh, and today we're going to be doing a rule school. I'm going to teach you how to set up the game and play it rule for rule so that you don't have to spend the time reading the rule books, getting to the fun faster. Without further ado, let's get started. Bubbly Pop is a tactical game for two players where you're trying to collect all these cute bubblies for points at the end of the game. And you'll be doing so by grabbing bubblies from a bag, placing them in the middle area, then being able to swap, then being able to bring some down, which might cause three or more adjacent to be able to pop, and you'll get points and get special abilities for each of the different colors. And sometimes chain reactions might happen, like the blues first, gravity bringing the rest down, and then the greens, scoring points and activating special abilities, like swapping adjacent bubblies on your own board, or swapping adjacent bubblies on the opponent's board, or sending some bubblies from your side to the other side, or from the sky zone to the other player's side, or just scoring any one that you want. It's a quick and cute tactical game for two players. To set up, place the board in between both the players. You can use either side of the board, whichever one you'd like. Then, in the middle region, called the Sky Zone, it has two rows, and you'll set it up with these colored bubblies as you see here. Now, you can customize it to your liking, but you have to make sure there's no black bubblies, and any bubblies of the same color cannot be adjacent, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonal to the same color. Next, on each player's side, on the very last row, you'll place three black bubblies as shown here. Now this is an easy game. If you want to make it more difficult, you can actually make four black bubblies. And you'd place the fourth one right there above the other middle one. Or you can make it the most difficult game by starting with five black bubblies. And in this case, you'd set it up just like this. Also, if you're playing with a small child or someone with different experience, you could have a different level of difficulty as the other player. Next, you'll take anywhere between three black bubblies and five black bubblies, and you'll place them in the bag. Three is going to be an easy game, uh, four for normal and five for hard. Also, you'll place all of the other colored bubblies in the bag. Any other black bubblies above the amount you just placed in the bag get taken out of the game. You will not need them for this game. The object of the game is to score points by scoring these bubblies from your side of the board. And you'll do that by getting three or more of the same bubblies adjacent to each other, either vertical or horizontal. Each player will take a turn back and forth in this game. On a turn, each player will go through five steps. The first step is to take a bubbly from the bag and refill any open spots in the middle sky zone. On the first turn, there's not going to be anything there to do, so you'll skip right to the second step. That step is you can swap any two adjacent bubblies, either uh, vertically or horizontally, but never diagonally. And you don't have to swap, it's optional. Then you must choose either two vertical bubblies or two horizontally bubblies and have them fall from the sky into your zone. So in this case, let's take these two and have them fall, and they continue to fall as far as they can. If I had selected these two instead, they would go as far as they can, and they'd stop here because this one was below it. Next, if you have a line of three or more bubblies of the same color, you'll be able to score those. Let's see what that might look like. So let's say those two bubblies came down, but the board was already pre-filled like this from previous turns. In this case, we now have at least three uh, uh, adjacent vertical or horizontal green bubblies. It could be any color, but they all have to be the same. So in this case, they're going to score. But not only are these three going to score, any adjacent vertically or horizontally, not diagonally, of the same bubbly color will also score. So these three triggered it, but this one's also touching it. So these will come off and these will actually score me points at the end of the game. And now all the bubblies that have nothing underneath it, gravity happens and they will fall all the way down as far as they can. More chain reactions of a bubbly scoring can happen during this phase. Next, if you scored any bubblies this round, you can use the special of power for that color. If due to chain reactions, you scored more than one colors of bubblies, you do them in the order that you scored them. 
The green power allows you to swap two horizontally or vertically adjacent bubblies on your own side. So in this case, I could swap these two to try to set this up for a scoring spot later. If this causes a three or more adjacent rule, then you can score those as normal. And you'll be able to use their special power as well. The red special power is you can swap two horizontally or vertically adjacent bubblies on the opponent's side. The purple one allows you to send any of your free bubblies directly up to the opponent's column. A free bubbly is one that does not have anything on top of it. So I could have selected this one, this one, this one, or this one. Let's use this one. Now it would fly right up through that column and go as far as it can go. This now blocks it from them being able to get the green to start another scoring for next round. You cannot use this in a column that's already full, and if the opponent has all of their columns completely full, using this ability will eliminate your opponent from the game. The blue power acts similar to the purple, but instead of moving one of your own to the opponents, you move the closest one from the sky zone. So I can move this to here, it stops. Same rules as the purple, you cannot go to a column that's already full, and if, it, if your opponent is full completely, then they are eliminated from the game. However, if this causes an opponent to have three or more, then they get to score those and trigger the ability. The yellow ability allows you to send one of your free bubblies, meaning it doesn't have anything on top of it, just to your scoring area for one point. Uh, this is an ability that you can use to actually send one of your black bubblies there. Black bubblies considered to have no special powers and they're not even considered to have a color. They can't be removed unless a power removes them as I just showed. And if three or more of them are aligned, they do not go off the board and score. However, it being removed by the power like I just did yellow, they're still worth one point apiece at the end of the game. Just to recap the beginning of the turn, the player is going to grab a bubbly from the bag and place it in any of the opening sky zones. They will continue doing this until it's full. Then they will go through the other phases like possibly swapping, then bringing some down and then triggering if needed. The game ends in one of two ways. If there are no more bubblies left in the bag to fill up the sky zone. Or if a player's entire zone gets full so they cannot take in new bubblies, they automatically lose the game. Now, if that didn't happen and you actually scored as normally, then you just add up each one of those as one point. Whoever has the most is the winner. If you're tied, you share the victory. Here's an example of a chain reaction happening. Let's say this player brings these two vertical bubblies down. We have at least three in adjacent of the blues and there's ones adjacent to those. So each one of these blue ones are gonna come off to the side of their scoring area and they'll score at the end of the game. But now gravity comes down and now we have three more here and now these trigger. And then we can trigger first the blue ability and then the green ability. Well, I hope this helped you dive right into Bubbly Pop and get to the fun quicker than you normally would have. If you have more questions, there's a link in the description of this video. If you place your questions there, I'll be able to try to answer them and so will the publisher and some of their staff.